Good evening, everyone. I'm Kamran Anchev. We start this sportscast on a sad note as ASU legend Bill Templeton passed away today. Coach Templeton's been a permanent part of ASU athletics. He was a running back coach, a running back, a coach, and an administrator. The Pocahontas alum led the Indians in rushing in 1954. He was an assistant coach under Benny Ellender and Bill Davidson. Coach Temp was inducted into the ASU Ring of Honor in 1997. He spent the past 36 years working with the Red Wolf Foundation. Last year, Chris caught up with Region 8 sports legend Dick Clay, and Clay had high praise for Coach Templeton. People that worked today uh, at the ASU and uh, all, the, all the coaches that we've had, one thing that I remember that's been there all the way from the time I started, Bill Templeton. Bit Temp has been an ASU man all of that time, and he remains an ASU man, and he is, uh, I'm going to say he is the soul. ASU's athletics. Staying with A State today, it's number one versus number two in the Sun Boat, but it feels like David versus Goliath as the UO Lafayette Ragin Cajuns are ranked second in the nation and the highest ranked team to ever play at the Tom. Today, the Red Wolves tried to avoid the sweep. We start in the eighth, ASU down two, and the bases are full of Red Wolves. Matt Burgess at the plate, he walks. Zach Maggio scores. A State down one. Very next batter, Stuart Levy, singles past the UL third baseman, two run score, and ASU takes a 5 4 lead. Levy had three RBIs on the day. In the eighth, the Ragin Cajuns have two runners on, but Tyler Zuber gets out of the jam with a double play as Zach Maggio steps on second and throws the first for the out. In the eighth, UL gets a wild pitch in the bottom of the eighth, and Zach Maggio scores, and A State has a 6 4 lead. Ninth inning now, ULL down two with runners on second and third, but Tyler Zuber gets out of it as he throws the first to get out of the out. A-State wins 6-4 to avoid the sweep against the number two ranked Raging Cajuns. Uh, basically, you know, it goes back to what Coach Raffo told us yesterday after the, after the second game of the series. He said, uh, you got to find a competitor inside of you, and if, if, the, if the last previous two games doesn't anger you and want you to get better, then why are you playing? To the Arena Football League, ASU alum Brandon Tompkins leads the Spokane Shock in receiving the season, and he had another big day with seven catches for 93 yards in this 45-yard touchdown. The Shock win, 70-21. The Diamond Hogs played number 11 Ole Miss. Bobby Warnes had three RBIs. Eric Fisher had two RBIs of his own, as you see them right here. For Fisher, the Arkansas Bats produced 16 hits as Blake Baxendale also had two RBIs. The Diamond Hogs take two out of three against number 11 Ole Miss and they win 11-1 today. Mike Anderson was in West Memphis two weeks ago for a Razorback Club event. Anderson will make his return to Region 8 Monday night. He will speak at the Mississippi County Razorback Club banquet at Manila Airport at 6.30 p.m. To the pros and the Grizzlies as Memphis made its fourth straight playoffs this year. The Grizzlies lost a tight seven-game series against the Thunder. Four of the seven games went to overtime, and Memphis actually led the series 3-2 but lost back-to-back -back games as Russell Westbrook and Kevin Durant came alive for the Thunder. Despite the early playoff exit, the Grizzlies won at least 50 games in back-to-back -back seasons for the first time in franchise history. Former Razorback Joe Johnson and the Nets played the Raptors this afternoon in Game 7. Johnson scored a team-high 26 points. The Nets led by 10 with just over 6 minutes left, but the Raptors battled back as the game went down to the wire. And the truth, Paul Pierce makes the game-winning block as time expires. The Nets win 104-103. Brooklyn will play the Heat in the second round. The Nets won all four games in the regular season against Miami. The Cards tried to avoid a sweep against the Cubs as you see the statue of Harry Carey, who actually was a broadcaster for not just the Cubs, but also the Cardinals. In the third inning, Matt Adams hits the ball deep to left, off the Ivy. Matt Holiday comes around the score, all the way from first. Adams would be in at third with the triple. Cardinals up 3-0 at that point. The Cubs were tied at three, but Molina delivered a two-run single in the ninth. The Cardinals just won about five minutes ago, 5-4, and they avoid the sweep. And that's sports. Now a break.